What's good, you guys? It's RT of YTS Gaming back here again with another video. Today, we got well on Fallen Dynasty God Tier Frost Beard Build Guy. My fault. Let's check it out. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel because we always going to be doing reactions like this and other content. Let's get into it. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Today we are breaking down my god tier frost build in Wolong Falling Dynasty. I just did a complete playthrough on New Game Plus using this build and was blown away by how powerful it made me feel. Mastering the Water Virtue allows you to control ice in many forms. The best weapon to use on this build is hands down the Bronze Dual Swords. Fast melee attacks means faster chill accumulation on enemies. The quicker you build up chill, the more vulnerable your enemies will be. Combine this with 450 water elemental attack power and 150 ice attack power, which increases ice damage and status effect accumulation. Frost has mastered the art of armed combat and the ability to crush enemy spirit. A minus ice attack power spirit damage bonus on the dual swords means quicker depletion of enemy spirit bars and more opportunities for fatal strikes. Frost is also equipped with one of the most powerful gear sets in Wolong Falling Dynasty, the Grace of Lingbao Tianzun the Pure One. This gray set unlocks five powerful bonuses to help you debuff enemies and destroy anything in your path. The most important bonus being Principle of Ling Bao. This gives Frost the ability to increase HP damage dealt in proportion to the number of negative effects on enemy targets. This gear set will make you feel unstoppable. The Frost build is one of the best builds to make in the game right now. Wulong's first DLC is expected to release in June and now is a good time to prepare for harder difficulties, new enemy types, and new bosses to crush. Yes sir. Still looking good so far. What you guys think? Try to keep a solo little boo. Okay. As you can see here, my character is level 150 and the main virtue to focus on for this build is the water virtue. This is going to be the main contributor to your water attack power and melee weapon damage since the bronze dual sword scales so well with the water virtue. If you look to the bottom right here, you can see A tier agility, which is great to have, and 444 water elemental attack power. Some highlights on the frost build include 150 ice attack power, which increases ice damage and status effect accumulation, plus 7% spirit damage to enemies with negative effects, spirit damage bonus for ice attack power, which increases spirit damage dealt in proportion to your ice attack power. We also have 24.1% chill accumulation on enemies enemies and 20% negative effect duration on enemies, which is great for this build because the principle of Ling Bao focuses on debuffing your enemies and the more negative effects you have, 
the more Do damage better. you will deal. With this Facts. type of build, it's important to stack as many negative effects as you can. So starting here, we have damage amplification to an enemy upon a successful martial arts hit. We also have spirit vulnerability, so we can apply two debuffs with one successful martial arts attack. We can also apply power drop with a ranged attack or a wizardry spell hit. Damage amplification upon landing a fatal strike and slow on a target enemy upon a successful deflecting counter attack. The main weapon on the frost build is the bronze dual swords, the best option for a water build. You can see here five star bronze dual swords plus eight 532 attack power and for the weapon scaling here you can see it heavily favors the water virtue these bronze dual swords in particular came equipped with the best martial arts special effects for dual swords in wulong fallen dynasty we have sudden tornado and bamboo sever since we can apply several negative effects with martial arts attacks on this build these two special effects are great to have because they offer you that range that some other martial arts special effects may not for any target that's trying to get distance you can hit them with sudden tornado and if they run a little bit further bamboo sever is always a great way to finish it off for the weapon stats plus 2.9 percent spirit gain plus 19 ice attack power damage amplification to an enemy upon a successful martial arts attack and spirit damage bonus for ice attack power a minus scaling which increases spirit damage dealt in proportion to your ice attack power i also have mounted bandit swords five star plus eight 528 attack power i have these on my build to help me reach that five piece bonus for the gear set grace of lingbao tianzun the pure one this full grace set will give you access to five powerful bonuses on your build the first one being spirit vulnerability to a target upon a successful martial arts attack. We also get power drop to targets that a wizardry spell hits, damage amplification to an enemy when landing a fatal strike, an extra 6% negative effect duration on enemies, and the best bonus, Principle of Ling Bao. This powerful ability increases HP damage dealt in proportion to the number of negative effects on enemy targets. The maximum amount of additional damage can be achieved when there are three negative effects on a target. I also have a four star feathered cavalry bow, fully upgraded plus nine, 581 attack power, A plus scaling with the water virtue. Now these special effects here are great because it's gonna give us some extra bonuses in our build. We get marking flag detection, 17 ice attack power, 2.9% negative effect duration on enemies and also enemy detection. For the helmet, I have a five star yeah, yellow bow. turban commander helmet plus eight, 128 defense. For the special effects below, plus 2.9% spirit gain, plus 19 ice attack power, 8% shell accumulation like on that. enemies, 3% negative effect duration on enemies, and 3.1% melee attack spirit damage. For the chest piece, I have a four star assassin garb, plus eight, 135 defense. For the special effects below, we get 36 stealth, 3.4% spirit damage to enemies with negative effects plus 19 ice attack power, and 2.8% negative effect duration on enemies. The main reason I'm using this piece is because it gives me set bonus requirement mitigation, which allows me to achieve the set bonus with one fewer piece of equipment. For the gloves, Taishin Bandit Bracers, plus eight, five star rank, 88 defense. We have 3.6% martial arts damage, 2.8% negative effect duration on enemies, plus 19 ice attack power, 8.1% chill accumulation on enemies and slow to enemies upon a successful deflecting counter attack. And last but not least, five star Shan Yu soldier leglets plus eight, 92 defense, the special effects below, plus 4% spirit gain from deflecting, 3.7% spirit damage to enemies with negative effects, plus 19 ice attack power, plus 2.9% negative effect duration on enemies, and 8% chill accumulation on enemies. For the accessories, I would equip anything that has ice attack power. Obviously, every accessory is going to be different with random stats. Look for other items that can help make your build even stronger. Maybe power drop upon deflection, power gain upon deflection, spirit fervor, stuff like that. But the main thing to focus on is ice attack power for your accessories. After testing a lot of spell combinations, I came to the conclusion that this was one of the best combinations to use for this build in particular. The first spell we have here is Amplify Damage. Now for a certain period of time, this is going to increase both the damage you deal to enemies and also receive from them, which means your melee attacks, 
spells, and even ranged attacks will do more damage. I also have Ice Weapon to enchant my current melee weapon with Ice. The status effect accumulation seems a lot faster than just adding Ice Enchant to your dual sword, so I recommend using this spell, and it's going to be the one you use the most. I also like using Spirit Fervor because we do a lot of spirit damage on this build, and it's important to get more spirit back when you're landing successful attacks. This is going to grant you and your allies a positive effect that increases spirit gain when attacking. And the last spell here, probably the easiest, most accessible water spell to use, and it actually does a lot of damage, especially with high water elemental attack power on the build and amplify damage activated. This spell summons a sharply pointed icicle to the front. The icicle will accelerate forward or toward the target you locked onto prior to casting the spell. So the great thing about this spell too, it tracks targets. So if they move, in most situations, the spell, the Frostlands, is going to follow the enemy. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna try to just build it out and let you know what I think about it. I still think the best build he made was the Sub Zero build. Fights. My bad, yo. I have some business and shit. Hold on. See how he's in New Game Plus? And he's getting two star gear and three star gear. This is what I was talking about. If you know, you know. If you if you know what video I was talking about. Uh, it was one of the reactions for the for the um what you call it? The 1.06 update. I don't understand. I don't know when he played this, but regardless, New Game Plus should have better loot drops. That just proved my point right there. Thank you all so much for being here and thank you for watching the video. If you found this video helpful in any way, shape, or form, a thumbs up would be very much appreciated. It really helps the Definitely channel good grow. Thumbs up for me, also, man. I noticed that a majority of you guys watching my video. But that's what we're going to end it here. How you th how do you like this build for one? Me personally, I still believe the sub zero build that he made is God tier. I think that one crazy this one i'm gonna try it out the exact same way that he did it and probably that let you know what i think whenever but i still think sub-zero build was the best build that he made i reacted to it but also checking out on his channel as well checking out his check it out on his channel first though you know what i'm saying but yeah i'm i'm gonna end it here like videos like this i'm gonna keep doing them 
You know what I'm saying? So make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. Until next time with more Wulong content.